Baghdad's Tahrir Square has become a little state of its own, a state where no one person is in charge, but one where everything is nonetheless provided. Dozens of tents have popped up over the past few days, offering medical care, legal advice, supplies, food or a place to rest, all of it free of charge. It's all from people. When I call my friends and tell them I need some support, it comes. Despite all the state resources, the government doesn't have what we have. Everyone chips in. Protesters clean the streets, manage checkpoints and even offer free haircuts. Dozens man the barricades on the front lines with security forces, while others rest to gather strength for the turbulent night ahead. Tuk-tuks serve as ambulances, ferrying injured protesters from the front lines. There are few ambulances because we don't have a government. We want to be the government. There is no government at all. There is no system. They only know how to steal. Students offer free medical care, risking penalties for skipping class. It's a sacrifice. The people, the homeland and Iraq are more important than my classes. If I lose a year or two, I can repeat it. But if these people die, how can we get them back? Demonstrators say they want a government that embodies the same principles of service and sacrifice. The government are a bunch of thieves. They should come here and learn from the people. We want a government that comes from this square, from the people. For many demonstrators, Tahrir Square has become a blueprint for the kind of state they would want, with free services and free supplies. But therein also lies the problem, because many of the desperately needed economic reforms would prove deeply unpopular. The government needs to cut down subsidies, it needs to reduce the bloated public sector, and many demonstrators would reject these kind of measures. But for now, demonstrators aren't concerned about reforms. They want the government to step down, followed by fresh elections. Until that happens, the citizens of Tahrir Square are determined to stay.